Hello, I'm Pa the Spaceman. Jeff's off traveling to the cool north this week. He's too shy to ask people to take his picture, so he's asked me to help out by inserting him into some of the nice photos he's taken. Before I forget, if you enjoy today's content, please click that like and subscribe button below. It really helps small channels like ours to grow. Today's video is about adding cutouts to background pictures with the help of Affinity Photo. It's easy enough to insert the cutout images, but to make them look as real as possible, you have to use just a little creativity and add a little Affinity Secret Source. There are many techniques that people use. I'll show you a few that are simple and easy for most folks who aren't too worried about the extra fine details. OK, here we go. Jeff's first stop was in Chicago where he got to see the world famous silver shiny bean thing. Let's put him at the scene by pulling one of his images from the assets panel opened to the left. The first step is to make sure he is sized correctly. Relative to the lady on the left, this looks just about right. Note that she is casting a shadow that looks like a long, thin grey line under Jeff's feet. First, select a brush from the brush panel. I'll go with a light spray paint brush here. Next, I'll add a pixel layer. And then I'll draw a little more shadow onto the photo. It's a straight line, so click and hold shift while dragging to the right. Good. Now click the Select tool to select the line and grab the nodes to size it just right. Now we'll lower the layer opacity down a bit so it matches the other shadows. And ta-da! We're done with this one. It's those little things that make photo editing just a bit more believable. Jeff's next stop was to Ohio to visit his family. Here they are by the shore of Sandusky Bay. But where's Jeff? Once again, he's taking the picture, but we can add him in right behind Dad. To do this, I'm going to duplicate a section of the background photo in a new layer. I'll click on my trusty freehand selection tool and draw around Jeff's family. I only have to be careful on the left side where it will overlap Jeff. <laughs> When I'm done with that, I'll invert the selection and click the delete button to remove the unwanted areas of the duplicate background. Then I'll drag a picture of Jeff from my asset panel, position him just so and then I'll drag the layer with Jeff down one so he's between the duplicate cutout and the original background. <laughs> Notice the shadows at the feet. Jeff isn't casting one. 
Let's fix that with the Clone tool. Click on the Clone tool to the left. Then click and hold the Option key or Alt key on a PC while using your mouse to select a source of your clone. I'm going to make my brush bigger by clicking the square bracket key a few times. Now I'll paint using the Clone tool to add more shadow. You may have to reselect the source a couple times if things stop looking good. We'll do a little touch up and then we can put this one in the digital picture frame. In the last leg of Jeff's tour of America, he stopped in West Virginia for a bit. Rolling hills and fields everywhere but no one to take his picture. We can fix that. Once again, I'll drag Jeff in from our asset panel on the left and I'll position him right at the edge of the shadows in the foreground. Now I'll show you a cool blending trick. I created a custom brush that looks like a tuft of grass. I'll use that to help blend in his feet to the pasture. Next, I'll make a duplicate of Jeff by right-clicking on the layer to the right and selecting Duplicate. I'll select the lower layer of Jeff and then click the Perspective tool. And I'll drag the handles around until the second Jeff looks to be shadowing him. After that, I'll select the FX tool at the bottom under the Layers panel and I'll overlay a black colour to Jeff's shadow. Lastly, I'll lower the opacity a bit to make the shadow look more real. And so yeah, we're done. I just heard back from Jeff. He's on his way home from the airport. I better clean this place up. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.